Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about how to perform in silico transcriptomic analysis in different plants using different web-based tools, okay? Uh, I will give you an example of uh, in silico prediction of a, how a particular zine uh, is expressed in fis fiscometrium patterns and I'll also give you another example of, an, of, of a zine uh, from Arabidopsis genome and we will see how this particular zine will be expressed in Arabidopsis. The aim of today's lecture is, is that we will only know the name of the zine, zine and from the name of the zine uh, we, will, we will predict you know, how this particular zine is expressed in different plants such as Arabidopsis, Fiscomitian parents, rice, wheat, etc. So that's the aim of today's lecture. To perform the analysis of uh, these different zines, uh, the zines in different plants, so the, 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 the web tool that we will be using is bar.utoronto.ca. Right? This is the website, the link for which I will also provide in the description. Okay, so this is the website that you have to enter and in this website what you will see is that there are different tools available. For example, you see here zine expression and protein tools, right? So for e-plants, different plants and uh, it, it's up to you in which plant you want to uh, perform the analysis on. For example, Arabidopsis EFP browsers and uh, Fiscometrium other EFE browsers, for example, Fiscometrium Patents EFE browsers, Suavin EFE browsers, Grave EFE browsers, Cannabis EFE browser, Maze, Rice, Barley. You know, there are different different EFE browsers that are available in this uh, in this in this in this tool okay so very very useful website guys especially for the plant biologist okay so if you want to perform in silico a transcriptomic analysis of a particular scene then this this wave is 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 the way to go okay right guys so now first i said that we will be taking example uh of a analysis of, of, of a zine from Fiscometrilla genome and we will see how that particular zine is expressed in, Fisco, in Fiscometrilla and we will also test you know how a particular zine will be expressed in, in Arabidopsis thaliana. So to do the analysis of a zine on Fiscometrilla we have to go on Fiscometrilla UFE browser right so we will simply click on go okay we will simply click on go now you see guys so now this this uh, in, we are in the web page of Fiscometrilla EFE browser as you can see here is the data source and um, module value so what we need to do the analysis in this browser is that we need the sequence we need the zine a primary zine ID like this you know we need this zine ID uh, to perform the analysis on this browser so how are we going to get this ID then that is the question uh, to get the gene IDs of a different genes, uh, we we can go to the very very useful online source that's called Phytosome. Okay, so in the Phytosome, uh, there are different. You can find the different genome sequences, and the and and, and those genome sequences you can get the gene sequence, gene IDs uh, that you want, and you can do the analysis because. Uh, we will be we will be doing uh, the analysis on fir first on the Fiscometry Lab Patents EFE browser. So here in the genomes we will we will select because we need a zine ID, zine ID from a Fiscometry Lab genome, right? So we will definitely have to then select a Fiscometry Lab Patents uh, genome, right? And then uh, find in the keywords because I'm going to be performing the analysis for Deadbox RNA helicases. So I'm just going to select uh, Deadbox RNA helicases. But this one, it will depend on you which, which gene that you want to do analysis on. You can enter the keyword and you can perform the analysis. So we will, after doing this, I'm just going to click on search, right? So it takes a while. And now, guys, so now we are here. And in the, in the, in the Fiscometrilla EFP browser, then what you need to do is that then you will select, uh, because I'm doing this analysis for Deadbox RNA helicases, and you can select in the gene that you are interested in. So for um, for the purpose of demonstration, I'm just going to select this this one. And where, where you have to hit? You have to hit on Z, this view zine report, okay? Right, so now guys, we, we, we are here. And as you already know that in this Fiscometrilla EFE browser, we need we need the primary in ID with PP1S. So this ID should start with PP1S, right? Something like this. 
and as you can see here uh, where okay in the early here we don't have something starting with pp1s so here actually i see uh, pp1s version 6 and pp1s version 6.1 yeah this one i'm gonna select because as you can see here it's also written version 6.1 so um i will select this id pp1s this this 6.1 okay i'm just gonna copy this and i will simply paste it here guys okay it's very easy so i'm just gonna paste it here and then hit on go okay very now we see the colorful pictures as you can see here in the mature sporophyte phase this dead box are helicases is, is expressed more uh, compared to the other parts okay so the more the red red sign uh, the greater the expression of 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 the particular zine in in the in, in, in the uh, particular part of the plant okay so in physical material appearance so these are the different plant the plant parts where we, in which uh, um, you know you can you can perform the analysis uh, of of your gene so uh, this is in the form uh, of the pictures but uh, if you want it to be in the form of the uh, var graphs then you need to just click here and you, you can see here that it appeared as a chart and as you can see as in the sporophyte mature phase the expression is higher uh, compared to the other parts of course in a sporophyte s2 phase it's higher yeah but not but less than the sporophyte mature phase and in in case of uh, um, uh, chloronema and you know gamma in gametophore or also in rhizoids the expression is low right so uh, this this uh, this is the chart form but if you really want the values exact values then you can click here and you will get the exact values you know how what is the expression level in the different parts of fiscometrilla parents guys okay so it's very easy so just you just need to uh, put the zine id so here and that gene id that you will get from the uh, phytosome and you'll just put it here and hit on go and then you you will get uh, these the, the, this kind of pictures and here the, the the higher the intensity of the red uh, the higher the expression of the gene in that particular part okay so this i showed uh, how to do the a uh, in silico transcriptomic analysis of a particular gene uh, and how to how to know that how this particular gene is expressed in different parts of the physical appearance i'm also going to show you another example and my another example will be uh, in, in we will do the analysis on uh, the arabidopsis okay so so i'm just going back as you can see so then where we need to go again bar dot utoronto.ca yeah the same website and we will do the analysis on arabidopsis okay so then i have to click here you see arabidopsis browser for arabidopsis we have s several options okay but uh, for the purpose of demonstration today i'm just gonna be using arabidopsis efp browser so we will just hit go okay right guys so now you see now we got this uh, chart and what we have to do then is that we just need to go to again to the phytosome and in the phytosome where we will with genome we will select here because we are doing the analysis on arabidopsis so then we will select arabidopsis arabidopsis yes and then find genes by keyword i'm just gonna select uh, dead box rna helicase and then just hit this one S search right the same way as in the case of uh, fiscometrium patterns okay and then i'm just gonna hit on g right guys so this is the transcript we have and so i'm just gonna select this okay select this transcript copy it and go back to fisco uh, this sorry arabidopsis browser and in the arabidopsis browser we will we will put primary gene id so here we will put our gene id and then we will hit on go it's very simple exactly like the way we did uh, the analysis for uh, uh, in, in in the in the fisco metrilla efe browser you see here guys in the different developmental stages this this year it shows how this particular dead box rna helicase is expressed because this uh, the id that i put is for dead box rna helicase is expressed more here in these parts whereas in here is little less uh, yeah here it's really less in these different parts 
So it gives you complete uh, picture. Here it, it is showing me developmental map, but I can also change it here. I can also make it like, let's say that I want to see how this dead box RNA helicase, helicase is expressed in embryo, let's say. And I selected embryo and it will show me now different, uh, yeah, you see here in different embryos, it bent uh, cotyledon, the expression is more compared to mature, green, late heart and early heart, globular. So it, in the different parts of embryo, it is showing the expression label. Uh, similarly, if you want uh, the chart or the, this, this is here for the expression uh, values in the different parts, right, in the form of bar graphs. Uh, but if, if you don't want this, if you want exact values, then you can click here and you can see that cotyledon, early heart, early torpedo, globular, in different parts, we have these different expression level. Okay, the, the, purpose, um, the, pur the purpose of these different browsers, uh, if it's EFP browser or the Fisco Metal Appearance browser, these different browsers, is they really help you uh, to see how a particular gene that you are interested in is expressed in different parts of either Arabidopsis or, or Fiscometrilla. Uh, so this is really, really useful tool, guys, if you are doing some uh, research um, for a particular gene in, in, in these different model organisms, okay? Uh, like I said before, uh, with in this tool, um, in bar.eu EU, EU, Toronto, you not only can do the analysis for Arabidopsis and Fiscometrium patterns, you know, you, you can, but you can also do the analysis of a gene uh, for uh, other other plants. For example, this is Arabidopsis EFP browser, but if you can see here, other EFP browsers, Medigaco, Swabin, Potato browser, and these are different browsers um, available and you can really perform in silico analysis of your your zine in these different um, in these different plants so i hope guys this video was helpful for you please subscribe our channel like and share the video and also support us on paypal uh, thank you very much for your uh, kind attention